Hey everyone, Patrick Spielman, founder of Upticks. And so the other day I was setting up some Facebook lead form ads and integrating it with Zapier. And I've done it before in the past with a different Facebook ads account. But for the life of me, I couldn't get it integrated with Facebook. And it was really frustrating. I went out and searched a bunch of YouTube videos and all of them just kind of seemed to show all the Zapier steps of setting up a lead form. And so in this video, I'm not gonna show you all the steps of setting up a Zap with uh, Facebook lead forms that are already integrated. First, before you can even do it, you have to assign Zapier as a CRM in Facebook in order to do that. To do that. And it's actually more complicated than you'd think. Uh, I, I don't know why for the life of me, can't figure out why they haven't made it easier. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's get started. First of all, go to your Facebook page and over on the left-hand side, when you're logged in as admin, you can go to publishing tools. Okay, so we're on the publishing tools page and down underneath lead ads forms, go ahead and click on lead setup. This is going to take you to the lead setup page and I'm already connected, but when you're not connected, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a little input box here where you can search for different CRMs. And this is where it gets confusing. So when you search in there and you type in the word Zapier, it's gonna come up with a bunch of different options for Zapier, you know, code with Zapier, email with Zapier, RSS feed with Zapier, and you don't really know which one to pick and it's super, super confusing. So what I ended up finding out that you need to do that I ended up doing is doing email by Zapier. And so basically all you gotta do is click email by Zapier. You need to set up a Zap first and just, so, just create an email alert to yourself um, the zap steps will actually show up on the screen, but turn that zap on. And then once, once you do that, it's going to be connected. So I didn't do anything special other than just go and set up an email alert, um, for, for Zapier. So then from there you can go into Zapier and you can customize a new zap, but it'll be, it'll be connected at that point once you do that. So that was the easiest way that I found to do it is just do a simple email by Zapier, set up a Zap, and you can go turn that Zap off later. Um, so that, that was the easiest way to do it. And then in your uh, business manager account, you need to make sure, I'll go into my business settings here. You have to make sure that you're assigned to, uh, the CRM is assigned and you have the admin credentials to assign a CRM to yourself. So if you go into your business manager and go down to integrations, and you go to lead access. So you've got your people here, you got your partners, if you have anyone assigned there, and then you have your CRM. So once uh, Zapier is set up, it's gonna show up here. So once you go and do the step on this last screen, go into your business settings and make sure your connected CRMs um, are showing Zapier on there. So this will allow basically uh, Facebook lead forms to send data over to Zapier so then you can automate uh, some of your workflows from there. So um, that's it. That's the process of setting that up and integrating it. It's super confusing on this page, but just go ahead and do email by Zapier, set up your first Zap, and it'll connect to Zapier automatically from there. So um, hope this video is helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.